Welcome to the webinar. Thanks for taking the time to invest in yourself and your future success in your business. We are very passionate about this specific topic. Every day we find it more and more relevant and important. So without further ado, you are here for one of a few reasons. Uh, you're a doc who understands the importance of marketing to the modern consumer and wants to do it better. You want to stand out better in your community for the excellent service you provide. You want to protect yourself against those patients that you can just never please and the negativity they quickly spread. And or you want to attract more high quality customers without having to give up on your Saturday screenings. Well, without having to give up your Saturdays for screenings. All right, so hopefully we should be together for about 45 minutes. Uh, we encourage you to stick to the end because we're going to make you a special offer that will make a really big difference to your practice in 2016. So who are we? Yeah, I'm going to get into this. Uh, a bit about us. I, I think a lot of you found us through Dr. Tom Preston's email today, but um, a few of you probably found us other ways. So a bit about us. We, uh, we are not chiropractors turned marketers like a lot of the people in the industry. We are just marketers. We attended our first internet marketing course when we were 16, pulled out of English class in high school. And we were kind of addicted to the dream since uh, working with Tom. We soon found that it just met all of our core values. And so we, we dove in when we were about 18 into, into this world. So uh, a bit about us. We did our first seminar. It was, uh, it was about internet marketing and setting up automation in business. Um, this is us and Brian Tracy, if you guys know the business world. He's a pretty big guy. But um, as we moved into it, we started helping my mom's nutrition business while we were working McDonald's, while we were doing some freelancing digital marketing. Um, but we kind of got addicted to, to this dream of being able to work anywhere in the world, travel, and just have a MacBook and an iPhone and create the systems and create the freedom. So we've, we've had that. I mean, we are living that life now. That was our 18-year-old dream. So we got pretty hooked. When we were 18, we went into peak potentials and we started going into, um, we probably did 32 different seminars, business, internet marketing. Uh, found ourselves at the top of the Rio in Vegas or California or New Jersey and New York and BC and hung out with the likes of you know, Mark Victor Hansen, who wrote the Chicken Soup for the Soul books. And we did that for three years until we ended up at a, an actual business course. So uh, we just kept working internet systems. We just kept learning and, and doing. And uh, I mean, we started getting into chiropractic because we met the man, this man right here, Dr. Tom Preston, we've been working with. He's a, he's a big Canadian chiropractic coach. And so we've been with him for a good five years. Um, so we started uh, working with him. And, you know, if you've ever read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you can kind of say we found our, our rich dad. The He beat the drums on a lot of the business challenges and things like that. So it really uh, kicked our ass into doing more. And so we started working. We started working for the man. We started working with him. We started working full circle in 2010. Um, we really rebranded the company. We virtualized the company. Uh, we've created a lot of inbound systems and a lot of digital strategy that we've seen what works, what doesn't work, uh, and specifically with the chiropractic market. So that is why we're really working with chiropractors today. Um, and you can see we've done a few team meetings, a little uh, Florida AGM, some beers on the beach. It was a good time in, in uh, December. So how this got started, the strategy tonight, was about a year and a half ago when I had some bad strep throat for the first time in my life. Uh, Tom forced me to go see this local chiropractor of, of his. He's this good, he had some uh, relationship capital there. And so he said, don't fill my body with drugs, go see Dr. Elena and allow my body to heal itself. So before I knew it, um, I wasn't in a place where I could pay for this. So I found myself in an agreement where I would teach marketing and they would adjust me. So we just tested everything. We were used to online businesses and we had never really worked with bricks and mortar in like a small local business. So we just started working on things, started tweaking online presence. How did they show up? How are people finding them? How can we make more people find them? So Google was, a, I wouldn't say our best friend, but it started to become our best friend when something, something stuck. So uh, I mean, as you can see here, we had 400% more patient calls in the first week of doing what we're going to be talking about tonight. So there's Lena and Jamie talking about how they, they were averaging about two new patient calls per week. And within the first week of really diving into this, getting the tools to make it seamless, they then moved into eight calls per week. 
So that's still going really well for them. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it down. We're gonna get into this, and we're gonna paint a little picture for you. Right. So let's say you break your face, and you need someone to fix it ASAP because you're a local professional, and you just can't do business looking like you broke your face. So where would you start? You would most likely do one of three things. You would lean on friends via text or Facebook status to update your community and say, this just happened. Who do you recommend? Or you might ask your iPhone, be like, see, best plastic surgeon in said city, uh, especially if you're traveling, you don't really know the area. Uh, or step three, maybe most commonly, you'd go to Google and just type plastic surgeon plus whatever city you're in. Right, so they basically come down to all the same thing. You're truly looking for third party endorsement from a trusted and unbiased source, right? That's how people are making decisions in 2016. So uh, when you're on Google, you're looking for someone to fix your face. Who would you trust more? Number one, we have a screenshot of Bod Cosmetic Surgery. It looks like bad. So off the start, they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot there. But uh, this second option has 492 Google reviews with a 4.8 star average. So I think it's pretty safe to say who you automatically trust right off the start. And they've made a first impression in less than three seconds, right? 492. That is the most I've ever seen. I got curious. So let's just ask for reviews now, right? Right? That's it. No, I'll take it. no definitely not. Uh, and that's for a few reasons. I mean, let me be blunt. The odds are your foundation is weak and it turns out as we found, a lot of patients can be clueless. So, I mean, when I first found out that, I mean, we, we built the foundation, we started to, to look good. It's like, all right, let's get reviews. It's like, just start asking your patients for reviews. I came back two weeks later for an adjustment. It's like, how did it go? It's like, nothing. I was like, what? How is that possible? Just like, nothing worked. So, how, why? We just, we faced all of three problems and we faced them fast. So number one, they did not know where to find the links. They would be, I guess, searching around and it's like, oh, I can't find the review button. I can't find that pencil. I don't have a Gmail account and so Google wouldn't let me. I don't use Facebook. Why do I need a Facebook review? So number two, they didn't know what platform to use, right? If they don't use Yelp, they're not gonna use Yelp. And if they don't have a Gmail, they can't use Gmail. And so then what? Open care, rate MDs, they were confused. Number three, they forgot. Didn't matter if what we did, they would you tell them to do something, they forget. Uh oh, but somehow angry or spammy patients, they they always seem to find a way. This is an interesting little case study. Uh, we found this guy, which looks definitely like spam says, Hey dad, this is drew. Didn't want to tell you in real life. So I wrote it on this, but I wanted to tell you I'm attracted to men more than females. Hey dad, this is chase. How are you? Can you pick me up at school? So me and my friends can go to the strip club. This, uh, was on the same doctor's profile somewhere out in Alberta, um, on open care or rate MDs. One of the two, either way, it, MDs. it doesn't look good. Two one-star reviews, both very spammy. And uh, that's, a, that's a quick way to ruin your reputation. There's an auto tire place in London that we found uh, this review talking about an intern they had and how everyone treated them very badly and uh, this guy would never come back. And this was like one of the most honest men I've ever met. And he was just floored when he saw that review. It's crazy how, how vulnerable your reputation can be. So we're going to walk you through what exactly I did to get them 400% new patient calls in that first week, which is still the number one strategy they use today to max out their practice. So by implementing this strategy, there's three things that'll happen. Number one, we're gonna increase your local visibility. There's upwards of, depending on your city, 100 to 300 people per month that are looking for your business, as we see you by Google keywords all the time. So if they can't find you, they can't work with you if they don't know you. So when we just type into Google, we just typed in Toronto and looked up chiropractic. Uh, this is what comes up. As you can see, the top three listings, this is the most real estate. 60, 70% of the people will click on the first three, especially when they see 28 reviews, 49 reviews, 4.7 stars, five stars. They have no reason to keep digging unless they had a referral. So number two, we increase trust, as we can see right there five-star review this hillary girl leaves a great little testimonial uh people will do business with the people that they know that they like but they stay with someone that they trust and as you can see right there it's a high pva when they stick around 
And it says right there, so others can experience the wonderful benefits of a well-adjusted body and mind. They really paint the picture and help people. Uh, a lot of people like to read reviews and they feel like they trust that. Right here, we see number three, you increase your close rate on warm referrals. Because what we've noticed is that just because they heard about you from a friend doesn't mean that they always trust you over another chiropractor after a quick Google search. We've seen some terrible first impressions on Google searches that they're one click away from hunting down other competition. So this Google user kind of talks about how, you know, calling around to find a good chiropractor in Toronto and, and found this, this Dr. Matt guy. Number four is you look more relevant. Businesses that don't have recent reviews uh, or updated profiles, they appear out of date or worse out of business. So there's this chiropractor in Toronto that I found, uh, 800 Bathurst Street, if you're number 204, I apologize, but this is the first thing that people are seeing when they, they type in your listing. So it doesn't even look like a business exists. You can see dirty couches and garbage on the side of the road, and it looks like just a bunch of apartment buildings. So, I mean, this is your first impression. Um, and at the end of the webinar, you learn exactly how you can generate these positive reviews that'll allow you to look like the only logical choice in your community. It'll increase revenues by four to nine percent as a, that's a Harvard business study that a one a difference in one star of your reputation is an increase of revenues by four to nine percent which can be a huge on yelp it was a yelp study it's a yelp study but it was harvard business review um and then show up for keywords like best chiropractor which we'll get into why that is important and increase the chances that warm referrals turn into lifelong members finally increase your google positioning without expensive seo and it's also a rapidly growing trend so follow along with us uh, if uh, you're probably on a computer right now, if not, grab your phone, grab an iPad, grab something, and follow along. Go to google.ca.com right now and type in what a new patient searching for a chiropractor in your city would type. What we want to do ultimately is find the people who are trying to find you and make that easier. So what are your potential members typing in right now? Are they typing in chiropractor Toronto? a uh, chiropractor in Toronto, a Toronto chiropractor, play around with keywords and see what comes up. So I did that with London, chiropractor London, Ontario, London, Ontario chiropractor. You can see a bit of a maps review um, and we can see the top three listings, Pure Health Chiropractic and Wellness. This is who I've been working with. Adelaide Family Chiropractic, Campbell Care Center. They're all great chiros. And these are who get probably 75% of the business from Google because it's the first three. They all have a great reputation. There's no need to keep hunting. So uh, when you do that with yourself, do you see yourself? What is the first impression? This is where hundreds of people per month are looking for you or looking for your competitors or looking for care. So hunt down the maps listing. If you didn't find yourself on the first page, click more, keep hunting until you see it because Google did make a listing for every business that they understood was a business. So how do you how do you fare? What does yours look like? Are you making a good first impression? I like to reference this as like a first date. This first impression, how did you come off? Would there be a second date? Are you, you know, if, if that was the first impression for a future patient, are you proud of that impression? What if you're meeting the in-laws? Like if that was your impression with the in-laws, would they approve? These are, there's a, there's a few mandatory things to look for with your Google listing. So some changes you need to make to build the foundation to make sure, I mean, we're going to be in, inviting some people over. So we want it to look good. You're going to need a good description, make it friendly, make it warm. You want your office hours so that they know when you're closed and when you're open. Uh, you're going to want to link to your website so that people can click more because people are insatiably curious these days. And of course you want a banging reputation. You want reviews and you want preferably good reviews. Google is going to be your best friend. It's going to be your number one, but we want a second opportunity. There are some people that do not have Gmail addresses and Google doesn't like letting them leave reviews just yet. So we're going to want to focus on something else. So there is a lot of different things that we can do. We suggest, I, I've heard a lot of, a lot of docs do not like Yelp. Um, for various reasons, and it's, uh, we're going to tell you it's an opportunity that you want to start loving. RateMDs is actually, it, it actually it pulls up on the first page of Google very well, so that is an opportunity, and so is OpenCare. So you're going to want to play around and send some people to different places. 
especially because people are going to search your name. They're not always just going to search for a chiropractor in the city. If there's a, a warm referral, then the docs we've talked to, they say that people are still searching their name. And that's usually when you like search, for example, like Dr. Lena Shulman as per Mike's chiropractor, then rate MDs would likely pull up because it's highly targeted search for her name and a review site. So every city is actually going to be pretty different. Um, so just make sure wherever you go, make sure you look pretty. So build the foundation everywhere. Every corner of the internet, all of your internet real estate on Google, on Yelp, on rate MDs, on open care. Um, there's a ton in the States that I don't even know about. Uh, make sure they all look good. Make sure they all have the good description. They all have good pictures. They all have your hours. Make sure they look pretty. We're going to be inviting guests over to our spaces and we want to make sure we've done our housekeeping. Make sure every citation you say you come across is validated. Some you need to validate. Uh, with Google, they send you a postcard or a phone call to make sure that you are your business. Uh, and you want to look sexy. You want to look good for these people that are coming by. For instance, uh, as you can see, the Pure Health that I work with, only one review, mine, has stuck because I have an active Yelp account. The rest, there's like three or four that uh, are not, not visible. But I mean, look how they... They look compared to Wellington Chiropractic. You can see a nice picture of me and Katie pretending to fill out forms. Lisa, the holistic nutritionist, looking smiley with some greens. Um, and Wellington Chiropractic is kind of nowhere to be found. Some fake buildings and doesn't look good. You want to look good. And once you do look good, we've built the foundation. Now we can start asking for reviews. We just need to make it easy for them. Or they won't do it. It's pretty simple. And there's several ways you can make it easy. So we tested several different ways. Yeah, we did uh, custom postcards that were branded to the business. They had a nice little saying on it, like, you know, uh, by sharing your testimonial, it allows other people to see the, you know, the good service that we can only hope others can find, right? And so then there was a link to the, like a short URL. So they literally did not have to work and the review box would pop up. So people could take that home and then it's hard to forget because it's postcard size. Uh, they also, we also had email templates that basically the front desk and CAs would say like, oh, you had a great experience. Do you mind sharing that? What is your email? And then of course they could hunt it down, but they'd be like, you know, this is it. And then she'd instantly fire off an email template that they saved in uh, Gmail, right? Um, and then there was newsletter templates that would go out at periodic times of the month and it would just encourage them that they could also leave a review. So... Then there's also a contest to incentivize action. Um, there, you're not allowed to incentivize five-star reviews, but you're allowed to incentivize leaving reviews. So that's highly encouraged as long as you do it right. So that's an example of what the postcards look like. It's very branded, short Quite URLs. Is, right? It could also be used as like a referral card if you wanted to. Uh, it says thank you. So mm, you want to say thank you. People are leaving reviews on your site, uh, and it just it looks good to say thank you, respond. Google should give you notifications, not all sites do. Um, but you want to respond, especially if you do get negative reviews because it shows that you're real and that you're willing to make it right. Uh, as you can see, response from the owner. This is, this is actually Coach Doty, so she's been responding. Your family is a pleasure to have in the office. Very nice. So as you can see, one week, we went from two reviews as a boring listing to eight reviews. And the best part was, it's like, you've made me popular. Love to, to have the stars light up. And they now rank very competitively. In London, they're at the top of the maps for several keywords. No expensive SEO, over 25 reviews. And they've gained market trust. They look good. They've been around for a long time, which helps. Uh, but people come to trust them before ever coming in, which is huge. You can also promote your reputation. Once you start getting them, you can see there's a lot of people, once you have three, five, seven reviews per week that start coming in, once you build the systems, then you can see people have taken these and made little review videos, which is pretty popular. I mean, videos are pretty easy to rank if you know what you're doing. Um, and here we have our pro tip for all of you that hate Yelp. So, what we did was we found that when you ask Siri, lo, uh, chiropractor nearby or local chiropractor or just Siri, chiropractor, then she comes up with a few options. But then if you say Siri, best chiropractor nearby, which people often want the best, uh, it shows that she really goes by Yelp. 
Yelp is a heavy weighted influence on how she ranks uh, best local businesses nearby. So it's kind of difficult to get good Yelp reviews because you need to have a very active Yelp account in order for them to stick, but it can definitely be worth your while. And as the trends go up, more people are mobile, there's gonna be more series in the world and it's gonna be more and more important. Plus I'm, I'm seeing a big trend just in our city for just Yelpers. We're going to a Yelp event tomorrow. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Yelp is a thing. So our goal for you, we want to outweigh the competition and make you the only logical choice for chiropractic in your city. But how? I mean, check out your competitors' reviews. You just want to have the most. I mean, I would say you want 100. Get 100. Because you look, you look impossibly hard to defeat. You look the best when you have 100 reviews. And then go get double. As you can see, Dr. J. Brightlow, I commonly ask why people come into my practice, and the answer is usually because they see how many reviews we had and it was no contest. 82, guys. Are you shy to ask for reviews? Because consider this. A lot of people seem to be pretty shy. They don't really know how to ask for reviews. But when was the last time you witnessed a mini miracle in your practice? What was the effect that it had on that person? What was the ripple effect that that had on that person's life? I mean, you're doing amazing things, and people have feedback to share. You just need to make it available for them. Also, some stats. Harvard Business Study found that a one-star increase in business Yelp rating led to a 5 to 9% increase. In revenue, Bright Local showed 88% of people read online reviews to determine the quality, and 85% felt satisfied after reading 10 online reviews. The trend is on the rise. You can see just in the past year, we're looking at almost double the amount of people looking for chiropractor reviews. So one or 100 reviews, you just need to be consistent. Google's shown not to reward people who get several and then let it sit, but people who are very consistent with it. Uh, and what if we could show Plus you- you don't wanna look like you're out of business. I see a lot of people that have reviews, but then the last one was like two years ago, February. Yeah. And it's like, well, again, mm -hmm. are they still around? Yeah, really. And if so, it's like people wanna be part of the party. Clearly, they're not looking like they're part of the party. Make yourself a long lineup like a restaurant. Exactly. So um, what if we could automate this process? Wouldn't that be gold? What if it helped us gain more positive reviews and protect us against the negative? So this is, this is kind of everything we've done. That's, that's everything we did to get, to get reviews, to build the foundation. Uh, but now we've been working with this. So this right here is you see a net promoter score. So what if people had to go by this before they could leave a review? What if one through seven... If there are one through seven, it went to a feedback form instead of a review. That would be your net promoter score. We call it net promoter score because as you can see right here, this is, this is actually a full circle. It's a 92 net promoter score. We'll get into that. The solution that we've uh, started to work with, it's, it's a way to automate everything that we've done. Uh, it, it decreases the odds of unhappy patients leaving negative reviews and it leads them to an internal feedback form, like we said, so that you don't have a lot of one-star reviews, you have growth opportunities, you have feedback instead of unhappy patients, publicly hate shaming the internet. Let's take a demo inside the software. So what we're gonna show you is just what we've been working on. Um, this is our, we call it Starketing software. So this was bred and born in Silicon Valley by one of the fathers of reputation. And they have done such good work. We've tested actually several different softwares on how to make getting reviews, building the foundation, how to make it easier for the doctors. Because, I mean, training assistants, asking people, giving postcards, printing more postcards, um, sending emails every day, it gets monotonous. You have to retrain. So how do we automate it? How do we make it easier? We have this Starketing software that we white-labeled and we are bringing to the chiropractic industry. We partnered with them and we're gonna make it better. So if this is working well, you can see the inside of this dashboard. So what we're doing right here is we found a way to make it so that you can automatically upload your list of patients and it'll send the feedback requests for you. So we have this company set up right now. They have their uh, their CSV file of all their patients being uploaded this week. And then when they do, it's set to automatic and it's set to five emails per day. So that five members are going to get an email per day at set intervals that says, you know, you're a patient of the New Leaf Chiropractic. How is your experience today? And it's going to go to that net promoter score that we showed you, a zero through 10. If they click an eight, nine, or 10, 
it'll go, great, um, do you mind leaving us feedback? People would leave feedback, hit publish, and then it would immediately go to the next screen saying, Google or Yelp or RateMDs, do you mind sharing it here as well? So it automates the process. It sends the thank you. But if they click a seven or below, instead of saying, hey, can you leave us feedback publicly about your less than optimal experience? It would be like, hey, that actually doesn't meet our requirements. We're not satisfied with that. We're going to follow up in 24 hours and make it right. So that's what this system does. It automates those emails that goes out. And you can set the intervals for how often. If they don't leave, if they don't open the email and they forget and they don't check their email, it automatically sends a follow up three days later. We know the fortunes in the follow up. So, and then you don't have to be annoying. I you know don't have to be annoying. A lot of people hate asking in the first place, so this takes that awkwardness out of it. And then the follow up, people are gonna forget because it always happens. In which case, the system will take care of that. So let's just go ahead and act as if we are, you know, running through the dashboard. So. Typically, you'd have like your CA, your front desk uh, staff kind of manning this for you. So everything happens automatically as long as you have like, you know, your, uh, you've uploaded your patient base, but you're still going to have new patients, especially because the system feeds the beast, right? So somebody else comes in. Now we're going to pretend Mike just went to New Leaf Chiropractic. Mike made a visit. And Mike had a great experience. And then their front desk was like, hey, did you mind, do you mind leaving some feedback? Because I was all smiley and happy. And I was like, of course. He's all about it. So, so they're just going to be like, sweet. So they're going to add customer. They're going to quickly do this. Again, it, you could be in kiosk mode with a, an iPad, and they can put in this information themselves. But it'd be like, all right. So as soon as I left, she's like, all right, yeah, Mike wants it. We're going to go to Mike at letsbeawesome.com. So no, you want to actually send it to your email. So oh, we're actually doing this. Yeah. I, I already left them review, though. Well, you just went to New Leaf, and you've had an awesome experience. All right. Do this. All right. So that's what I got to do. Um, and then send immediately. Make sure that's clicked. Add. Say it like that because they're from Colorado. Oh, last name. I think I like them. Customer added. So you can see, and then it's going to go automatically right here. And it tells you feedback request has been sent, but there's no review. Uh, it doesn't show on website because there's no review. So if we go to my emails. Whoa, whoa, this is where the magic happens. The technology is a funny thing. There we go. So now this is what a customer would see. So I just left, <clears throat> I come home, thank you for visiting us, would you leave us some feedback? And this is completely customizable, of which with this new account we have not done yet. But instead of this map location, I would rather see their face. And I would make this a much better written email. So it would give feedback because I mean, I'm a good guy. I'm going to do that. And this is what we see first in that promoter score. If I clicked a seven, it would immediately go to a feedback form, but I like them a lot and I'm going to give them a 10. I'm going to do my phone number. And then I'm going to say they were legit. Submit feedback on that one. And it says, thank you. Thanks for your feedback. Um, and so, Right here, it's like, okay, so now they have this. It will automatically be posted to the widget that's on their embedded in their website. Uh, helps you keep track. It helps you build your testimonials without having to manually add all these testimonials to your website, which is annoying. Um, and so it's already, already there. And now I have the opportunity to also send it to Yelp, to Google, to RateMDs. So it's like, hey, as you likely know, online review websites like Google and Yelp really help us for getting new business. Would you take the time to leave us a review? So I'll be like, uh, I could probably leave a Google review. And I mean, I already have, but you can see how it just automatically pops up. Nobody has to be like, man, I can't find where to do that. I don't know what to do. And so now I can just click here and write a review. Rick and Mike Tillman's, boom. And I'm going to, I already left a review. So that's they I'm already pre-filled it. Well done, Google. Yeah. I'm, all right. So that's that's what happens. And then within the let's go back to the dashboard. I wonder if I it should say that we have some feedback now. Boom. There it is. Feedback. They were legit. It's instant. It shows on the website because we already embedded it on the website and it says new feedback review link linked. And that's the best part. Every time somebody leaves feedback, you're gonna get an email. You can thank them, you can add them to your summer contest, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And now you can start promoting. So Plus, the worst thing about updating a testimonials page is having to acquire them, log in, 
update the website. You probably have a web developer doing it, in which case they probably charge you every time. Whereas if you just embed this, then every new review can act as a testimonial on your site with this show on website. Once that's embedded, it's just a one-step process and it automatically feeds into it. Um, but then say somebody, say Mike wrote instead of they were legit, maybe he wrote something like a little personal and they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to share that with everybody. So then uh, we would just click no and therefore it's not reviewed. It's not, it's not on their uh, testimonial page anymore. It's that, that simple. And then we can even ask them to edit it, in which case we take out the personal issue and then just throw it back on there. So boom, it's very easy. And the communication method, you can always make auto, uh, manual at any time so that it doesn't automatically kick emails. You would just do the add customer piece. So it's whatever you're comfortable with, and it's however you want to do your systems. Either way, it makes your life way easier. Um, and even if you don't rank well for your keywords, like chiropractic, London, Ontario, people are still going to be Googling your name anytime there's a warm referral. So, I mean, I was talking to a, a fitness guy in town yesterday, and he didn't come up for any of the fitness keywords, just some simple weeks that he wasn't doing well but when I typed in his actual business crazy good reputation so once people do that people are going to eventually look for you uh, you're gonna still want to look good you're still gonna want to have a great reputation so this starkening software it's only $67 Canadian per month so those Americans get a wicked discount uh, at the current price it probably is going up to a hundred soon um, and I personally have been working with Tom on the practice appraisals side of Full Circle for a while. And when we look at the average ROI of a new patient, I mean, some stick around once, you might make $40, some stick around for life and could be three, $5,000. But when I've looked at the average average over the past two years, a new patient is around 1500 So if we break that down, one new patient per month with this, thanks to your five-star reputation at $67, is an ROI of 2,139%. Bang, take those Boom. odds every day. Yeah, we're also creating a private Facebook group, um, and that way we can have people sharing marketing ideas, big wins, updates, and uh, we're constantly looking for more marketing ideas to do with reviews specifically, so that as you get reviews, you can share reviews, and then it creates more new patients, and how to make videos with it, even how to use Snapchat for business, which is a fun one. Um, and uh, future private webinars, we're going to be doing a lot more of those now that we're sharing content, once we, uh, now that we have a good tribe of people. And so private webinars, private, private content, we like to talk about it. So uh, there's also some great new developments that they were coming out with, like SMS capabilities, as in texting. So they can, I mean, people live on their phone these days. So just by getting a text review link, it's easier than an email. It can go right to their phone. So everything we just did by email, it would be right on text message. Everybody opens their text messages. 100% open rate. So that's a very, very, very high engagement. And so uh, the experts are saying that social proof is the number one thing to implant your business. We spent a full day in Atlanta with Dr. Matt Loop. If anybody doesn't know Matt Loop, he is a guy to know in the marketing world. Uh, he does very well, and he's helped many, many, many businesses do so. So we spent the day with him and Tom, and uh, he is all about social proof, quality and quantity. You want to be able to say that 100 people have said this about your business, and there's nothing that converts better. He's all about giving yourself a fake, maybe not a fake title, something credible, but something that you can be a big fish in a small pond. So he calls himself the... Um, what is it? The highest paid social media revenue strategist in North America. It's a mouthful, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, we showed a case study about Dr. J. Brightlow has 82 Google reviews. So he now he it. is the top rated chiropractor in Colorado. Only logical choice when you Google it. Right. It's, it's very easy. It's just a numbers game. It's a popularity contest. And now it's a cool title. And this, uh, this um, Google is making the snack pack, the sna snack pack being the top three listings that you just saw in the maps uh that just went down 33 percent as they're coming out with an ad for the top spot so they're always finding ways to monetize google a little bit more and unfortunately that means that the top spot in the maps will soon be a paid listing not organic uh but of course it's an auction site in smaller cities you're not going to have this uh but it just went it just got 33 percent harder Fun fact. Uh, and here you can see Jay talking about it again. Just the quality of reputation has been crazy. And I mean, you might think that you're in a small enough town that it doesn't matter, but 
Coach Frazier, if you guys are familiar, uh, he lives right on the lake in this small little town. Almost so few people that you think that it wouldn't even matter to have a good Google reputation. Uh, like everyone probably knows each other anyways. Yeah, and it's insane because his it's it's almost as if his internet presence is too good that it's taking over other cities and towns around him. Uh, and he still says it's, you know, the power of reputation has made all the difference in allowing his business to grow steadily and easily. The experience today is that clients always investigate you online before buying in. Having a top-notch reputation that is visible online is key to attracting and not detracting new business. Right. And while we're talking about like uh, practice valuations, for example, and we were saying that it's the average ROI is, um, or ROI, average lifetime value, 1500 yeah. Uh, another stat there is that um, the online reputation and your website in general, uh, like your ability to acquire new patients, is also a factor in the value of your practice. Oh, it's so, huge. So it's also part of your exit strategy. It's part of your marketing plan. It's part of the, the sellability of your business. It's crazy. Here we got Elena talking about the 400%. So let's get reviews. I mean, you have everything you need to right now to make that happen. Uh, if you want to invest in the software that can automate this, can make your life a lot easier, just go to cairo.getmereviews.com and you can hit the big yellow button. Uh, you're going to eventually get to this uh, type form, fill in a bit of your business details so that we can manually add you to the system. It'll send you a temporary password. You'll get your account set up, uh, make it a password you're going to remember. Uh, the setup process, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Just find your links, uh, change the emails to make it a little bit about yourself, get your own picture in there. And then, you, you know, within one day, you can have this thing going. There's the kiosk mode that you can just use an iPad in your practice and be live. You can upload your CSV file and make it automatic. It's that easy. It's the Meraki Starketing Five Star Reputation. So, cairo.getmereviews.com. Uh, if you have any questions, this chat bar has been live, has been alive and well. So any questions are definitely more than welcome. And if not, then hello at do it with Meraki, as you can see, M E R A K I. Um, I get it's a difficult name, but it means to put a piece of yourself into your business. So it really resonates. Um, hello at doitwithmeraki.com. You can send us an email at any time. We're pretty live in there as well. Uh, but the chat bar, if there's anything right now, we are available for questions. If there's no questions, then uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Again, let us know if you have any questions by email over the next week, anything that you think of. Uh, we'd love to meet and talk to any and every one of you. So enjoy the night. Enjoy your Wednesday. Thanks for coming. Okay, bye, guys. Welcome to the webinar.